What's up guys, it's Johnny from the Travel Like a Boss podcast. I'm here with Anton Creeley from uh, Dropship Lifestyle and we're at the veranda in Chiang Mai. We're gonna do 10 tips, uh, how to crush it. Tip number one. All right guys, well when you're first getting started like Johnny did, when you're setting up goals for yourself, for your business, don't think small, think big. Don't make little goals like, oh I wanna make one sale in a month, I wanna make 500 bucks a month. Set big goals, that way even if you don't reach them, you can still be successful and maybe come out to a place like this, veranda pool in Chiang Mai with Johnny and I, drink some coconuts and just love life. So uh, what's tip number two for all the guys? All right, tip number two, whether it be e-commerce or any other online business, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Follow people that are already successful. Find their websites and emulate what they're doing. Find out where they're getting their traffic from, where their sales are coming from, and who they're working with, and do the same. There's no reason to start from scratch. Copy someone that's already doing it and do the same. Uh, yeah, great tip, and it definitely worked for me. Uh, if you think you can't compete against big sites like Amazon, think about little sites like Zappos, who specialized, they figured, you know what, Amazon sells shoes, but let me do it better, let me have better selection, better customer service, easier way to search, and look what happened to Zappos, they got bought out by Amazon. Exactly. Hi, right, cool, so what's tip number three? All right, tip three is to stay persistent with your business when you first start in, whether that's uploading products to your store, trying to get approved with suppliers, uh, getting your data feeds approved, just making your site look better. Just stay persistent and keep working. It takes maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months. If you don't see a dime in investment and in return on your investment, just keep going. Stay persistent. Johnny knows about that. He spent a couple of months, didn't see any money, but yeah. it paid off. Um, I know a lot of people can do it in a few weeks or less than a month. Uh, whatever, whatever, for whatever reason, it always takes me longer to get, to get started with things. But it took me exactly two months uh, of working every day couple hours a day to make to make my first sale and there's been a lot of times where you know I wanted to give up I was yeah. like man my niche sucks I remember complaining to you I was like right. I, want to, I want to change niches and you're like no no just stick with it and that was two months of sticking with it so if six weeks in seven weeks in even he would have gave up he wouldn't be where he is today he wouldn't be making the money he's making so yeah. stay persistent keep at it it does pay off so yeah j j exactly and uh, now everything's good so uh, good tip I like All it right. Guys, tip number four here for Johnny's podcast. Uh, I just wanted to tell you to stay motivated, and the way I do that is by setting big goals for myself and rewarding myself when I get there. If you read the four hour work week, he calls these dream lines, Tim Ferriss does. So before you get started, kind of know not just how much money you want to make, but what you want to do once you have that money. For me, one of my recent goals was to spend some time in Southeast Asia. That's where I am now. I'm living in Chiang Mai, um, and I rewarded myself with living in a place like this with a rooftop overlooking the city, and uh, that's how I take care of myself. It could even be small things in the beginning. Maybe go get a massage once you make your first sale, maybe buy yourself a new computer you've been waiting for. Just set goals, make them real, and then once you get some money in, realize those goals, make it happen, it'll solidify the idea of your business, it'll confirm it could work, and it'll just keep moving you forward. Alright guys, tip number five, surround yourself with successful people. I know you probably heard it all the time, but it's so true. I've been working for myself from home for about seven years, and I've always done well for myself, I've been productive, but I haven't been anywhere near as productive as I've been the past nine months here in Thailand. I started working at this place, Pun Space. It's a co-working space with entrepreneurs from all over the world, and basically I come in every morning, I can talk business with all my friends now, learn more, and want to excel myself, just to kind of... It's kind of like a game. Everyone's trying to one-up each other and also help each other, but we just all want each other to be successful and it really makes a difference. So maybe in your hometown, you can look up a co-working space. If not, go on meetup.com, try to find SEO groups, internet marketing groups, just entrepreneurship groups and just get in touch with people and really reach out, make them be your new circle of friends and it's gonna increase your productivity, it's gonna increase your sales, it's gonna increase your business and your quality of life. So that's the tip. All right, guys, the bonus tip is just about productivity again. I actually heard this one recently, and it's something I always do, but when I heard someone else talk to me about it, uh, it really just made sense, and I think it's something more people should, should do themselves. If you have a project on your mind, something that you really think is gonna work, start it as soon as possible. Don't delay at all. It, it's something in our brains that once we actually start a task, no matter how hard we think it is, it instantly becomes easier, and it becomes real. So if you keep delaying something just because you think it's gonna be a big investment of time, or wh whatever it is, you think it's gonna take too much mental energy, just start 
on it, the sooner you start, the easier it's going to become and the sooner you'll finish. And it changes your entire mindset once you actually get into that workflow. So get to work, make things happen, and you're going to be successful.